Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss requirement for public key cryptography and public key cryptanalysis. Topic of network security. So first of all, I discuss requirement for public key cryptography and then discuss cryptanalysis of public key cryptography. The public key cryptography algorithm must fulfill the following conditions. First one. It is computationally easy for party B to generate the key pair of PUB and PRB. Here PUB is the public key of user B and PRB is the private key of user B. So in public key cryptography, public key will be shared with each other in the network by all the users connected with each other. So here PUB will be shared with the sender and PRB remain secret. Second one, it is computationally easy for a sender A knowing the public key and the message to be encrypted, capital M is the plain text message, to generate the corresponding cipher text. Now see in this equation, here original message M will be encrypted by public key of B. Here public key of user B will be shared with the sender A and it generates cipher text. Next third one. It is computationally easy for the receiver B to decrypt the resulting ciphertext using the private key to recover the original message. So uh, PRB is the private key of user B remain secret. So using the PRB this ciphertext will be decrypted and original message will recovered. Now here put the value of C from equation number 1. So is equal to decryption using uh, PRB private key of B and I have put the value of C from the above equation. Fourth one, it is computationally infeasible for an attacker to determine private key from non-public key. So we can say if public key will be captured by the attacker or hacker but he or C cannot determine or cannot derive the private key of that particular user. Fifth one, it is computationally infeasible for an attacker to recover original message from non-public key and cipher text. So we can say a public key will be shared with uh, each other inside the network if any attacker or hacker will capture the public key and also capture the cipher text. So using this both public key and cipher text, hacker cannot recover the original message. So these are the conditions of the, or uh, we can say this is the requirement for the public key cryptography. Now, next is public key cryptanalysis. Here cryptanalysis means to crack or we can say to break the code or we can say ciphertext without the knowledge of key. So first one, public key encryption method is accessible to the root force attack. Second one, public key method depends on the use of mathematics equation or some function. So in public key uh, method, we can say RS algorithm or uh, Diffie-Hellman algorithm, it, it is totally based on mathematical equation. So if mathematical equation, there is a very small value is used, so easily someone or we can say hacker or attacker can decrypt the message. Third one, if key size is larger enough to avoid the root force attack. So we have already discussed in point number 2 the value of or we can say the number will be used large in the algorithm. When key size is large then speed of encryption and decryption are too slow. So this key is generating for to make root force attack impractical. Fifth one, public key encryption is bound to signature application and management. Uh, we can say the application of public key encryption or we can say public key cryptography is uh, one of the application is digital signature. In digital signature uh, our data is encrypted uh, so we can achieve confidentiality and uh, receiver can verify uh, which sender sends that data or we can say receiver can verify the data comes from original sender or not. So we can also achieve authentication. So, Public key encryption is bound to signature application and its management. Next, 
If attacker have public key of receiver and he or she try to calculate private key but it is not confirmed that this type of attack is feasible for a particular public key algorithm. We have already discussed this point in requirement of public key cryptography. If attacker can capture the public key or cipher text, uh, he or she cannot get the original message from that cipher text. So these are the public key cryptanalysis points. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube, Chirag Baloria. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Follow my blog, edu resources. Thank you.